Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall in Northern California. Today is uh, October 31st, 2017. I woke up this morning with so much peace. And I know it's through all of our prayers, our collective prayers together. I'm telling you, prayer changes things because I know this world is evil and I know what this day stands for. But when I woke up, the only thing I felt was the presence of Jesus in my room. He protects the saints. So then I got up and I anointed the whole home, entrance ways and doorways. And I just, uh, I did that. And I'm just sitting here at total peace. And I want to update some prophecies. And I want to let you know, these are very, very serious. And uh, with things impending that are world changing. And uh, I obediently want to hmm, share this with you. Okay, so it was, um, I'm good. You know, I prayed about how to make this video. And, 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 and what I believe the Holy Spirit is leading me to is just share what I've received from the Holy Spirit as if this is the, the first time anyone has ever watched any video of mine. So, and, and then for them to pray and have total understanding on how important this stuff is. So I'm just going to go now after having said that. It, it was 2015 in October, as you can see up here, 1029 to 11 1 this was 2015 I had been doing these Jesus matters events where we uh, we would go and we would go to another state sometimes we drove sometimes we flew and we would baptize people we'd give a live stream sermon from that state we'd pray for their state but every time we went we also gave a warning you know and uh, to see it, to see how much has happened in just two years is literally astounding. But the the advancement and rate of prophecy being fulfilled is it's off the charts. It's off the charts. So what the Holy Spirit had led me to do is go by myself and start on the 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 west coast of here in California after completing. I think it was uh, the seven states that I did. The Holy Spirit had me drive up from Fort Bragg to from Fort Bragg, California to Fort Bragg, North Carolina. And it was an amazing venture. It was actually, I believe it was the seventh state, if I recall correctly. It was the seventh state that I did was North Carolina. And I just, I went by myself and I had fasted and fasted and prayed and I knew that this was like closure this was going to bring closure on my calling for repentance and announcing God's judgment man I'm telling you people we met all over the United States we met at several different capitals in several different states and we made the newspaper all of us here on this channel we made a difference it was called hashtag Jesus matters and, and we went out and we touched people's lives whether they were uh, rich or poor or uh, um, homeless or uh, whether they were saved you know, speaking in tongues or whether they were just a, a lost person that never even heard of Jesus we went in some pretty serious areas like downtown Denver and witnessed to Satanists and stuff you know and uh, so I started at Fort Bragg California and what I did in Fort Bragg California I lived down here was I drove up it was three and a half hour drive here and a three and a half hour drive back. This is how I began this West Coast to East Coast uh, prophecy trip, a mission trip. And uh, as I brought up this map just now this morning, I noticed something, look, because I want to talk about earthquakes in California and warn about that. I saw this city, Shake City. Shake City. I've never seen that before because, so this is where I start on this journey uh, and this is in 2015, Mendocino County and all this. And, and this is where the Lord has been showing me for five years now where the, the quake would hit uh, in this area right here, if you can see it. Mendocino, Fort Bragg, the geysers, all that. 
for five years I've been warning that we drove up to uh, Ashford Oregon and we warned up there yeah Eureka all of this stuff is where I think I hit it and uh, went up to Oregon to Medford we witnessed up there and I pointed right we're, we're in this uh, we were in this conference room and there were several people in there that I met and know and love uh, I pointed I remember at one point I pointed to the wall and I said an earthquake will hit right there and I pointed to the the west coast and uh, I got people's attention there was some youth in there it was powerful and so so then from there the Holy Spirit it was called from west coast to east coast Fort Bragg to Fort Bragg and none of this was in my flesh it was fasting all of this was a uh, it, just walking in the spirit and so I landed up in uh, on the East Coast I went to North Carolina I stayed in Charlotte and I drive down to an area called uh, called Top Cell Beach so on the on the West Coast I was the Holy Spirit had me and I had notes and I followed my notes and did everything the notes said to do on the West Coast the Holy Spirit told me to read Revelation 6 and prophesy the six seals, God's judgment, and a great a mega earthquake. And I'll show you as we go along here. And when I came down to North Carolina, the Holy Spirit had me uh, uh, prophesy Zephaniah 2. And it was about water and floods and war. So I, when I went to Fort Bragg base, I drove up on there and I read Psalms 91 and then I kept going. So I did everything the Holy Spirit asked of me from the West Coast all the way to the East Coast. And the reason why I'm sharing this is because I remember uh, I drove the, the day, the final day that I drove down to the beach to actually get the coast and go out and walk on the beach and read Zephaniah 2 was was this uh 10 31 this pagan evil day i don't even like saying it you know what day it is but uh i don't partake in it and so yeah i remember people were out in costumes and stuff there was a, some rough parts i'm thinking man even in north carolina man you know <laughs> i remember that um and so and then i i flew back and the one thing i want to mention is the holy spirit instructed me to be back before 11 1 very specifically 11 1 2015 for my safety and i did and i, I touched down uh, back here in california and i was so thankful and i know that if i would have stayed out there longer i would have been disobeying god and i wouldn't have been covered by his safety and protection so it's interesting that tomorrow that today is the day i went to the east coast and that tomorrow is 11 one the the day he told me to come back two years later so i i, I want to go through this okay we i i personally went from west coast to east coast as explained the west coast was revelation six and i got some time markers on this uh, video here and the east coast was zephaniah two and so the reason why i have these time points for everybody to look at is for if you're not aware of this stuff research so this is talking about North Carolina and this is the this is the some of the notes that I had must liquid fast the entire three days I'll just read it here okay begin prayer on the coast at Fort Bragg California pray for mercy against the coming earthquake and then prophesy magnitude alert loyalty islands Magnitude 5.3, 14 minutes ago, 12.22 p.m. Let me clear that or it'll keep repeating. I'm leaving it on because I'm expecting an earthquake as all. Well. Um, so just give me, I could have paused. Okay, my bad. Yeah, my phone's off, but it doesn't meet the earthquakes because I have audio on. Because I'm expecting a bigger one sometime soon. Not necessarily today, but within a, within a short period of time, that's all I'll say. So that may go off again. Only five and above. So 1029 to 11.1, 1, 
Proclaim, now please listen. Well, I know you're listening. I always say that. Proclaim the coming prophetic release of the Elijah anointing. Miracle signs and wonders will be seen, felt, and observed. Warn of great man-made pestilences and natural man-made disasters to come. While in Atlanta, so I stopped through Atlanta, right? While in Atlanta, pray against man-made diseases and rebuke them in Jesus' name. Now, the reason why I'm showing this stuff is because I'm going to show you information now. That was because all of this is, is rapidly being fulfilled, man, all of it. And I'll show you. Warn, warn this is, uh, again, I was to be back by 11-1, which is tomorrow, but it was two years ago. God warns in advance, Amos 3-7. And these are the notes I took on the trip. Warn of the government one world order uprising ushering a great deception to accept a world leader in his mark deception comes in time prophecy will both come forth and be fulfilled and i'm telling you that the reason why i'm showing this because this stuff's coming to pass so on the east coast i read zephaniah too we went by the panther stadium there it's a bank of america stadium i think in charlotte and uh we had a vision there me and this uh this sister we met there and we had a powerful vision and and, and now I keep looking back at what's happening with the NFL now. The, the Holy Spirit has just opened my eyes to, to see things I've never seen before. Uh, visit Deliverance Temple in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Warn of football stadium attack. Go pray at the Panther Stadium. Go pray at the Capitol. Go pray at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, and then go prophesy at the ocean. So those were my marching orders from the Holy Spirit. And, and in prayer on October 22nd, 2015, it was revealed to me that Fort Bragg, California represents the coming California mega quake. Again, this is from two years ago on a mission trip. And Fort Bragg, North Carolina is a final prophetic revelation of what the angel told me on July 5th, 2012. It's a video on here where on July 5th, 2012, uh, an angel told me war and he gave me signs to look at return no later than 11 1 and then it says this will complete my three-year timeline of let me see if we can go a little farther please bear with me this will complete my three-year timeline of releasing prophecies on the social media and i am to then go pray get this in here It's kind of blocked out right there. It might be in the description box, but uh, it says then, and then flying back, the Holy Spirit told me, I want you to build a home church. And he said, I, I he said, I will anoint it and I will show miracles as long as you keep your house clean. And that was two years ago and we did. And we meet every Saturday at 7 p.m. right now. And we are seeing just amazing miracles. So this is that video of the trip prophetic warning state of Northern California um, and so I want to show you the date here uh, March 21st 2016 I'm, I'm updating this November uh, this October end of October 2015 trip are, are you with me now let, let's go to the next video I got a lot to share on 9-11 9-11 this year on 2017 the Lord had told me to give this prophetic message. Beware the third and fourth wind, north and west, a false flag, to, uh, and be sure to remain silent. And I was talking about how you have Miranda rights and let the Holy Spirit speak for you. So this is that. And I kept talking about winds winds just started kicking up everywhere but there was four four winds north south east and west and the issue here today is that all four of these winds prophecies have come to pass and they're in the bible so i'm putting a timeline on here and this is a 
This is from August 24, 2017. This is this year. <clears throat> it was another one. It was, Beware the four winds blow. Repent now while there is still time with confirmations from uh, Sister Rachel at Candid Truth. Uh, Candid Truth. I met her in Oklahoma. And uh, Sister Sha uh, Minister Chantrell Davis. And I had put four angels, four corners, four winds. And then I'm I'm actually even gonna and I'm talking about Revelation seven, and I actually mentioned specific areas, and the timestamps are all on here. So like here's the link. So right now we're discussing the video right here, and at the four 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 mark. And the 540 mark, it shows 4444. And, and this is amazing because this is two years ago, but I have always understood in all of my life with, with, no, uh, with no changing of mind that that 44 represented judgment. So, and on this video, with this link right here, forever to be written down, at the 31 and 17 second mark, God was showing me the six seals. West Coast was a warning for California meg mega quake. East Coast was war and flooding. Okay, so that's these, just to be clear, that's these videos I just showed you. And it's amazing because when, the reason why I'm mentioning Revelation 6 and how powerful God is is because that's what I, I was led by the Holy Spirit to preach two weeks ago and, and last Saturday again. And we're going to pre uh, preach Revelation 7 live, just like the Holy Spirit told me to do when I got back before 11 1. Uh, was to, to begin teaching in Revelation 6. And I'm going to go all the way through till the Lord comes back. So this Saturday will be 7. And both of these chapters have manifested through the evangelist missionary trip I took in an amazing way. So you remember the Holy Spirit told me to go to the West Coast and warn of a mega quake. This was two years ago and read Revelation 6. Revelation 6 mentions a great earthquake and the Holy Spirit suddenly has me teaching on that right now. Like I always say it's the timing of it all because this was two years ago. And we did Revelation 6, all the six seals that are mentioned in there. And we're going to mention the seventh seal this Saturday, if the Lord wills it. And so in, in this next video, I'm going to show you it. I'm just for time's sake showing you links and time points. So let, let's go to this video. On, on this video. Let me refresh this. You see the link here, B3FW. At the four minute mark, there's a face blowing wind up the East Coast. This is right here, Philip. I'm gonna show you. This is Philip prophesied two years in advance, just like Harvey, just like all of them. I show that face, so I'll show you this face. And then at the seven minute, I'm showing the same face blowing on the West Coast. So this is amazing stuff. And I'm going to give you a visual of what I'm talking about. And then at the eight minute and 30 second mark, I, there's four woes. The third one is confirmed with Philip Maine one more. So Maine was now the fourth wind from the prophecy, the four winds, winds of war, winds of change. And these uh, the, these four winds, it hit Maine, and I think that has an E. My apologies. Uh, it is hurt. So the message was when I when we were in the season where I saw a storm or tropical storm forming, and, and this video is on here, up to the letter P, which is very rare because they usually stop by now. Then that was the season. God said that was the season for me 
to become more watchful forever, watching for Jesus' return, watching for everything. And I'm telling you, I am. So, May, so Philip was confirmed, and Maine has now confirmed, completing the four winds. Because it was wind that came and added to Philip. It was called like a storm collision, and it blew up to Maine, and it blew their power out. There's, there's over, I, I understand it, like a million people without power there or something. All of this is confirmed. And, and uh, in the same area of map, I went and read Revelation 6 at. So, so let, let me show you what I'm talking about here. Four minutes, seven minutes, 830. You, do you see this face right here? So look, here's, here's the top of the head right here. And then here's the forehead just left of this yellow circle and hand marker is the forehead and then it comes down here to a nose right here where it's lighter and then here's two lips and they're open like blowing right where philip was and it, and it blew it up to maine that was the north what and so I, let me see what i said real quick the east coast bear with me now i know this stuff's getting heavy and i'm explaining that if you can see this so it's facing florida and the carolinas here and much more so it has, so here, it's a thing. So could you see that? And I'm talking about that. I mean, this is amazing stuff because this happened. And what was the date this was recorded? 9-11. This right here happened with Philip and another one colliding with it. And it went all up to Maine and that happened. I mean, I'm going to show you several things now. And I thank you for bearing with me. That, that have happened and where I believe we're at now in this prophetic timeline. Okay, so then the Holy Spirit said seven minutes. So let's go to the seven minute marker. So here at, at the seven minute marker of the same video, I'm showing the West Coast. Do you understand I traveled from the East, the West Coast to the East Coast and back and this is just now being revealed to me uh, right now today on 1031 that it's the same face look and this is where the earthquake area is going to hit it's going to be and and we're amazing see how it says miranda that's how the lord told me your miranda rights you know if they come after you in these last days and you're still here uh remember that you have rights and don't speak until the holy spirit can speak for you it's in the bible it's in the Bible. But you see the face? Okay, so here's the nose sticking out, kind of a, a flat forehead, and it comes down, and, and here's the mouth, and it's blowing, and it's, you know what, this is the exact area where the Holy Spirit told me the, the earthquake was going to hit. I'll move on. By the way, when we talk about the north winds, California got these NorCal fires started, and they whipped up I'm saying they they whipped up intense winds out here and the NorCal fires are still burning but two of the, the I'll say the largest one and the other one are, are in this area remember it was the the four winds blow and it's two faces looking like they're blowing uh, the book of Revelation talks about four angels on four corners and this is where those fires are still burning right now right in that area and a little south of that Magnitude alert. Loyalty Islands. Magnitude 5.2, 12 minutes ago, 12.40. Okay, so here we're at the 8.30 mark. This is I-5 right here. There's so much to this that I might talk an hour, but I'll just ask led by the Holy Spirit. This, this I-5 is where I had a vision of fire, floods, earthquake, and power loss in 2012. It's all, what I'm saying is, Everything the Holy Spirit has showed me my whole life is all revealing right now. Right now. Like over a period of decades, suddenly fulfilling right now. Let me see what I said at 830. North and the South. Pray on this. The North and the South. Matter of fact, Harvey hit the South. Okay, so I'm talking about the four winds, and, and at this point, I think Harvey 
had just fulfilled on 9-11-2017 was, but um, I'll continue. I think that's about it with that video. So we're going to go to the, uh, yeah. So all of this, so what I'm basically saying is all of this is confirmed. All of this is confirmed except for the California earthquake. And that's the urgency as I sit here, California, amen. And I wake <laughs> uh, so, okay, so let's go here. So the next, the next video link is HHS. Everybody see that? Which should be this one. And if you see up in the URL, look, HHS. Now, this video, August 24th, 2017, Beware when the four winds blow. Well, they blew. This was a warning, and they blew. The final one just hit Maine. I'm telling you the truth, the four corners. Repent now while there is still time. And this is the urgency of this video. Is It was said, look, beware when the four winds blow and repent now. And I'm like, did everybody really repent? Did I reach enough people? And I get this peace knowing, look, the warnings went out by me, several, several other hundreds of thousands of people doing the same thing I'm doing. And uh, it, it's so now, repent now. It's basically that, repent now. Again, August 24th. Okay, at the 2.30 mark, so I'm going to go to the 2.36, I'll remember that. What I'm showing here is Jared Kushner meeting uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu, Bibi, with this map in the back of the same, I had the same exact map put exactly just like that as a prophecy warning. And he says that he, he thanks him for coming in, in that spirit. It, 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 it's creepy and it's fulfilling. And on August 21st, when we had the great eclipse, Trump announced war. He did. I have a video on it. Uh, did It's called, Did You Miss It? On Eclipse Day, Trump announced war. He did. Go back and, and listen. So let's listen to this. telling you that is biblical peace and safety and the scriptures when they say peace and safety come sudden destruction and this right here occurred in Israel this year around the time Trump announced war don't get me wrong this is not anti-Trump uh, channel never has been so what did I say? 3.30, 6.30, and 9.30? Thank you, Jesus. Man, I, I always think one day, Lord, will this be my last video finally? And I keep getting closer and closer to like, hey man, it will. So I don't really remember it's here, but I'm just going to be obedient. Revelation 7. Revelation 7. Immediately looked it up. And I'm going to read it to you right here. Just one, two, three. Okay, so check it out. This was in August, and now we're on 1031, tomorrow being 11 1. And I'm warning of these four winds, of four angels, of these woes in Revelation 7 back then when amazingly it was already set up three weeks ago that I was going to do Revelation 7 this Saturday. This Saturday. I believe it's the 4th. Is that right? I mean, what I'm... Sh the 4th. This Saturday, the 4th. 
the day after the EMP drill and the day that the Antifa is uh, is planned to do whatever they're going to do. And there's confirmations with uh, two or three witnesses. And so what Revelation says basically, and after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor any tree. Now, listen. And it talks about the earth and the sea, these four angels and these four winds. But do you understand? This right here was at a totally different part of my life than when the prophecy was. I'm, get, I'm getting ready to teach on this this Saturday, Lord willing. And, and this was this was in August. And it's I, I want to stress this, 100% fulfillment of the four wind prophecy. I'll show you. It's main. It's main. And then I said 930. of war are blowing great significant prophetic events are about to, to just explode on the scene with rapid escalation and fulfillment uh, according to God's holy word at time. so here's the thing what I just prophesied to the Holy Spirit of God that they would rapidly begin to fill and, and, and uh, what's the date on this August 24th you know what? They did exactly that. The four winds blow. I came back from North Carolina and set up a home church. I started prophesying, and they're, they're all coming to 100% fulfillment. That's God. It's not me. It's God. 100% fulfillment and completion in advance, just like the Bible says, and it's the things in the Bible at the end. Let's go to this last video here and, and seal this thing up, man. It's written, it's done. The next video is, and the URL is I-A-Y. And I'm showing all this so people will know. People will know when we're gone, there'll be proof and evidence. Bear witness. I-A-Y. And at the five minute and 12 second, I'm showing the RSOE map. Five minutes and 20 seconds. Please bear witness. 11 minute and 29 second video. The link with the IAY. The date being February 4th, 2016. Long ago. And I'm showing you the RSOE map in obedience to the Holy Spirit who leads us and guides us. Amen. Back to the map. So I was, I was looking at the RSOE and the Holy Spirit had me and uh, I know people can mock this easily. It's easy to mock. See, there's the face again. And and what I go on, see the, the wind blowing. And what I go on to warn about is these four areas. Cuba has happened. And Puerto Rico destroyed. These things are... All of these, the last four hurricanes that I know of, crossed over Cuba. Cuba. But remember, this is 2016 in the beginning of the year. That's how you know it's God. And then Florida. So these were the four winds I mentioned. And then Oregon. This is the West Coast. What I said, Oregon, it said the West Coast. Or I even say that in this video. Oregon represents the West Coast. If you go back around this mark, you'll see it in Maine. So it was winds of war, winds of change. Today's date, 10-31-17. RS RSO map, same map from 2016, early in the year, but today's date is Maine. Extreme weather in USA. 
flood possible threat to life or property and I want you to bear witness that it's the state of Maine statewide level affecting Maine I have the Holy Spirit all over me I have the Holy Spirit all over me so everything all of this stuff is all been fulfilled except for the California earthquake while I went and warned about it on one coast the great earthquake Revelation 6 and warned about these flood events and war starting on the East Coast and now look where we're at you would have to like you would have to try to guess which war we're going to start first because we, we have so many enemies that are threatening us Iran just threatened us today said they can hit all 50 of our states with nuclear weapons Korea North Korea China Russia we got all this Russia stuff look remember it was the escalation so in closing in this video today on October 31st uh, at 923 a.m. this morning Pacific Standard Time the Holy Spirit told me to warn on this is exactly what the Holy Spirit said knowing that all of this other stuff came true except for the earthquake this is what the Holy Spirit spoke into my spirit and I'm sharing obediently with you state of emergency that's what's going to happen state of emergency and the Holy Spirit is showing me like in the body of Christ you know it for for everybody for the saved and the unsaved and actually literally a state we're in a state of emergency and here's the thing could this state be California I believe it is so again Philip Maine all of this stuff all shown by scripture here has all come to pass simply because I obey God so here's the thing for some reason on this channel what approaching 34,000 uh, 34,000 uh, viewers and I know it's YouTube and Google uh, for some reason it doesn't get shared a lot I don't know if it's a block but my job is to come down here and warn man and I've been doing it for years and I'm showing you 100% fulfillment and I'm warning of this state of emergency in a California mega quake. But I'm not just saying warning California quake. I'm, I'm showing you all this other stuff fulfilled but that over a period of years. And now hearing state of emergency, I'm trying to do my best here to show you what God showed me. Freely we receive, freely give. But all I'm asking you to do, and we pray for you and we love you, let me tell you. I, I know someone I just see in the spirit right now they're in fear God said you're gonna be okay tonight you are going to be okay tonight to whoever that was please share this and ways to share it are like put it on Google Plus put it on Facebook Facebook seems to be the number one way to get these videos rolling around I'm gonna put it on remix you can download this you can have it it's not mine it never was mine it's it's God's it's God's so I've done what the, the Holy Spirit has led me to do. And I, I thank you all for listening. And I'll continue on and continue on. I'm not saying like final video or I'm out of here. Nothing. I will continue on till I'm gone. Amen. <laughs>